Okay, it's uh, just a few seconds before the 9.30 open. So we'll get ready to go here. Uh, we'll say that we had one trade earlier this morning in the uh, you know pre-trading out of the Globex. Uh, around 8.25, 8.26, we actually got a buy signal. Uh, had to ride it out about a point and a half the wrong direction, but ultimately it turned around. We put a uh, take profit in at uh, 205 and a quarter. You can see up here at about 916, we actually uh, we hit that. Sheer luck. <laughs> let's not let's not call it any more than it is. I actually wanted to put it in at around two oh five and I when I got the order in at two and a quarter, two oh five and a quarter, twenty oh five and a quarter, sorry. Um I just left it and figured I'd you know we're we're buying right now. Uh the market is buying. I think the the tendency is towards a buy, so I figured ah, if we don't hit it early, we'll hit it late. Then we hit it early. This is the uh you can see the uh this was the uh, buy we put in at uh, basically around uh, 826, and then a little bit later put in the take profit also as well, but we hit both, so we're up about point and a half already for the morning. Don't have a, uh, a new signal yet, but fully anticipate one here fairly soon. This is the first day back after a... Uh, not just a long weekend, but after basically about two weeks of uh, fairly low volume, a lot of people on vacation. So I think today we might uh, we might see things pick up just a bit. Although going into this, we were about 250,000 um, minis traded going into uh, the 9:30 open this morning. So that's still a little low. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were seeing that number at around you know five and six hundred thousand. It seems like. But anyway, we'll be back when there's a uh, when there's a new signal. Okay, we just got a sell signal. Um, a little bit late to the party on it, unfortunately. That's what happens when you look away from the uh, charts for a little too long. Um, If we get any kind of a pullback to about uh, 20, 20275 uh, and the signal is still there, I would go ahead and sell as long as it keeps heading down like this. Uh, at this point, it's a pass for me. It looks like it's still moving down, so I think we're going to go ahead and just pass on this one. Too bad. That turned out to be a good one. 20250, 20275, 20275 would have been the entry. What we'll be looking for now will be a buy signal coming along at some point in time. We'll just wait for that. All right, we're getting uh, dangerously close to a buy signal here. Um, get ready to go. We're actually going to buy at market. Um, we don't quite have it yet, and the plan is just try to get a point. You know, we're not we're not swinging for the fences here. We don't need to have a huge retrace to get any. You know, get into profit. Assuming we get the signal, it's not there yet. Like I said, we're almost there. There it is. We're going to buy at market. Twenty seventy-five. So we want to get out at uh, about twenty-two. Then would be the uh, limit order. And we'll see what happens. And there we go. Picked up another point. We're in the, uh, where is it? Bought here at uh, 40 to 2075. Got out at uh, 202, quarter, one and a quarter points. Covers the spread, another point. Puts up about two and a half points off of the uh, trade from earlier this morning, which was a uh, a sell. We missed the additional sell at 9.30, which is too bad. I'm sorry, it was a buy over here, not a sell. It was the 8.30 morning. In the morning, we had a buy over here. Got it. 
missed the cell signal here, which was too bad. It was there. It was obvious, and I just was looking away, and by the time I <clears throat> looked back, the signal came in around here, around 202, and price was already down here around 201, so I just passed on the signal, but had we caught it, it was, you know, an easy two points, if, although we would have just gone for one or one and change, and the buy signal here. So, all in all, so far for a Monday, very good morning. We'll see if we can get one more today, since we missed this one down here, and nobody was here for the uh, <laughs> for the buy signal except me. So, uh, we'll take, see if we can squeeze out one more. It'll have to be a sell, and it'll just depend on you know getting the signal and where price is at. I really don't like selling around 2,000. Uh, this is one of those numbers that's just, you know, psychologically uh, very difficult to penetrate going in either direction. So I would much rather have buy trades at around 203, 204 as we're moving away from that and showing some, you know, strong movement, uh, which we more or less expect to see. There's a ton of hot money that's flooding in from uh, just about everywhere looking for a place to land and really the US stock market and gold for that matter although gold isn't really uh, isn't really showing that right now uh, it's about the only safe place uh, for people to park their money and treasuries you know they're buying treasuries too But let's see what happens here. I mean, if we get down below, I'd say about 1999, and the signal coincides with that, which it will pretty much have to do at this point, I think. Um, I think it's probably a safe trade to take with the idea it'll go down at least about 96 or 97 before it would start to turn around. That's what my gut tells me. Which my gut has been known to be wrong on occasion. All right, there's our sell market. Nineteen ninety nine seventy five. Good. That we got a little bit of a pullback on that. Let's go to about 1998.50 for the uh, limit order. Usually I give it about two points room here because 2002 is where we've been consistently sort of banging into. Um, I'll give it a little bit more room, an extra quarter point or so. Um, before I kind of hit the uh, panic button so I put the buy stop in there so if it does take off we'll get have something there to uh, protect us Uh, we're getting real close to getting an opposite direction signal, and if that is the case, uh, I may want to close this out. Well, I, I will want to close this out, and I'm not going to let it go all the way to 202.25 either. We'll adjust that order. All right, we're gonna actually going to just go ahead and buy one at the market because that's our buy signal. And now we're going to put a... Uh, now, we're actually close enough. We're going to hit it anyway, so we'll just let it run its course here. Just pick it back up going the other way. At 203.75 limit order. which may be a little aggressive, but uh, that will 
basically get us back what we just dumped on that earlier order well with another point uh, on this new order and if nothing else this proves the value of paying attention because had we caught this earlier order right through here uh, we would have been done for the day <laughs> so I mean this is this is why you don't uh, allow yourself to become distracted by uh, by outside influences been paying attention we would have hit easily if we were already up one and a quarter here this would have been another two so we've been up two to three points we can see that 202 is also hanging in very tough today so 2000 to 2002 has been a pretty solid range pretty tight range but we broke out of that range once. I think we're going to keep going, which makes 203.75 very reachable for the day. Well, once again, we're getting down here close to where it would normally bail out, but because we've had such good solid uh, support here, I'm going to give it a little bit more room to run. Give it a chance to do a little bit more damage. Hasn't done enough yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this trade. I had it at 203.75. I'm going to bring it down to 203 even, which is essentially two full points. Um, the uh, that one loss that we took obviously didn't help any. Um, and missing that one didn't help any either, but uh, we get to 203, it'll be two full points for the day. That's the goal. We'll quit. Should have quit down here when I had it, but I because we missed this other trade, I decided to go ahead and you know stick around so you guys can get uh, you know at least one more shot at it. And uh, I still think we're going to get there. You know we're a point and a half away right now, um, and we're we're cracking over this 2002 level. It just keeps getting beaten back, but it's not really getting beaten back, you know, any significant distance. So I think at some point in time we're going to bust through it. and We'll get 203, we'll get our uh, our two points for the day, and we'll call it. And tomorrow I promise to pay a little closer attention so that we can catch these uh, nicer ones, you know, when they, when they arise. And if any of you happen to go back to the Facebook page that we're putting together and, uh, you know, watch the videos of what went on you know during the course of the day you're going to notice we I cut out all the dead spots I go for several minutes at a time without saying anything and that's uh, makes for pretty boring video so uh, I usually edit that stuff out and uh, we'll be doing the same thing here as well so don't don't freak out if it doesn't quite match up to your recollection of being here for you know two hours and only ending up with about 12 minutes of video <laughs> it's uh, I'm, I'm saving you time, believe me. I don't know if anybody cares, but we're only up to about a half a million contracts traded. I think we still got a shot at getting over, you know, over a million for the day. Uh, but this is still pretty slow compared to what we were seeing a few weeks ago, early August. This is looking good. We just need a little more love here now. This is where we stopped out about 20 minutes ago. Not stopped out necessarily, but I mean we stalled out. Probably a better way to put it. So, but all we need is just a kiss at this point. Swift kick in the butt. 2300. Call it a day. And there we go. We actually, uh, hmm, 2325. Very good. We'll take it. All right. Uh, two and a quarter points for today. Not too shabby. Uh, could have been better if we hadn't had that one that collapsed on us, but, you know, hey, what are you going to do? Anyway, that'll... Uh, I don't know why this stupid thing doesn't want to come down. We'll just do that instead. There we go. All right, we're done. We got our targets. Actually, looks like it's going to go. We've got to about 2350. 
may still get to uh, 200375 whatever doesn't matter we got our points so anyway wrapping it up for the day guys have a good one we'll see you back here tomorrow morning uh, like I said I usually get in here between 8 and 8 30 uh, and if we get a, an early signal we'll definitely take it again if it's any good so uh, anyway that wraps it all up so guys have a great day see you tomorrow bye